know, I'll be walking you through getting your Google Plus business page set up. This is an incredible way, and in fact, a powerful tool to help you get found, connect with your customers. It's super easy to manage, and it's really, really critical to your business, whether it's in mobile platform, over the traditional web, any way that your customers connect to you, it'll help. So step number one is we're going to need to open up a Google account. Now, chances are you already have a Google or a Gmail account. Now, we're going to walk you through the different steps of first setting up this local page, then going ahead and setting up a YouTube channel and connecting that over. So let's get started. Now, up here in the URL, I'm not going to go to regular Google. I'm going to go to Google backslash plus backslash business. Or I can just type in Google business in the Google search engine. It'll take us here. So let's get that page. So I'm going to click on get your page. Now, as I said, chances are when you click on this, you will see the icon for your Google account already that you have. Let's go ahead and create a new account. This way it keeps your business and your personal stuff completely separate. And it's free, so there's no problem. So let's create a new account. In this case, I'm going to type in my name. And let's see. I think I'm going to have a... Ooh, I don't know. I think I'm going to do a Mexican restaurant. So, Scott Mexican restaurant. And let's see. Hey, I can do that. Great. So I need to type in a password. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a password. And birthday. Now, this isn't the founding date of your company or anything like that. It's your personal birthday. It does actually matter because if you're under 21 or under 18, they don't show you certain things. If you're under 13, they don't allow you on other platforms, that sort of stuff. So just go ahead and admit that you're an adult. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my number, which most of you already have anyway. And I'm going to give them my current email address. So I'm Scott at Webtegrity. And I'm going to go ahead and do the verification down here. It's easy enough if you don't feel like doing this for some reason. They'll actually call you and you have to enter a code, but it's an extra step, so let's not do that. So I'm going to enter the numbers I see right here. 2349-9899 space and the next ones. Real quick pro tip, this number you see right here, Google doesn't actually know what that number is. They do know what this number is. This is what they're actually checking against. This is how Google Maps is so accurate. This is an image taken from a Google streetcar of a building, and this is an easy way of getting people to tell them, hey, what building number is that photo actually on? So, fact of the day. And I agree to Google Terms and Service. Just go ahead and click down there. Let's go on to the next step. Oops, apparently I didn't choose a strong enough password. So let's go. Oh, here we go. I am a male, or you can choose other for a business. And so speaking of that address, here we go, 42455232. And we're going to scroll down. Okay, so it's going to load up the page and it's going to ask me. So I'm going to need to add a photo. Now this is usually we recommend go ahead and use your company logo that either we've designed for you if you already have. Chances are you have that on your desktop, but I've got one on my desktop of me since I'm trying to make a more personal image of my practice. I'm going to add a photo and I've got one on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And let's see if I could find a photo of me. Hey, there we go. It's a picture of me. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this so people can get to know me, the real person that I am. I'm going to go ahead and use that as my profile image instead of my corporate logo. So there I am. 
No, that's not Fabio. That is actually me. I know it's a frequent mistake, but that's me. And I was in the Swiss Alps and ate a cute little baby goat. So let's go ahead and select that. There we go. So that way everybody knows and recognizes me. And let's go on to the next step. Now this is also going to be my public image on my Google Plus and my Google Local profile. So you want to, like I said, go ahead and choose that company logo. It's usually your best step. Now if you don't have one handy, don't worry about it. We can either make one for you or you can always add it later if you just don't happen to have it on the computer you're on. So let's go ahead and go on to the next page. And it will take just a few seconds for it to do its business. So it's in, hey, welcome. Let's go on to Google+. So Scott's Mexican Restaurant. I'm opening my account. Now it's going to tell me since I originally went to that google.com um, slash plus slash business page that I'm opening up a local thing. So let's look. Am I a local a business or a place? Yeah, I am. So I'm going to add that. Usually best to do it that way just because it's uh, the most frequently used one and it's the most easily searched one. So it's going to ask me to re-enter my password just to make sure I'm not some bad guy trying to do something funny with the website. So let's look. It'll walk you through. I agree to the terms and conditions. So let's search for the business. Scott's Mexican restaurant. Let's see, is there a Scott's Mexican restaurant somewhere? Nope. Delis and cafes, but oh, there we go. These are not in my business. Now, if it already is your business, great. That saves you a couple of steps, but in this case, I'm going to need to create my business. So we're going to go Scott's Mexican restaurant. My street address So I'm going to just choose an address of somewhere I know in good old Pasadena, Texas. And I'm going to say my business phone number is 713-555-5555. And what kind of a category, what kind of a business am I? So I'm a Mexican restaurant. Hey, there we go. Now, if you can't find something perfect, think about your competition. How do they describe themselves? And look on their Google business pages, and you might find out, oh, hey, here's how it's described. But usually Google's pretty good about having that. Now, do I deliver goods and services to the customers at their location? No. If it's only there, okay. But let's say I do do delivery. So, ah, what is my delivery range? So I could say... Mm, only in one zip code or only in one or two zip codes or within say 10 miles of my location. Now if you're a delivery business that's great. Now if you do shipping like on an e-commerce website that is not something you need to worry about clicking. This is more for delivery areas for local businesses as opposed to e-commerce type deliveries is what they're talking about. So if you if I don't say have people come into my restaurant, I would click that saying it's delivery only. But if I do have people coming in, I need to click that. Now, if you look on the map, the icon changes. If I deliver only, it's telling me this is where the business is located. But if I also have people come in, it's going to put a point in the map to tell everybody, hey, this is where you can go. So here's the next and probably most ignored step of all. It's not instantaneous like a lot of stuff that Google does. What they do is they want to go ahead and verify that you're a real place. So what you've got to do is click verify by postcard. Now it's going to take a little bit of time, like a week or two, but you'll get a little postcard in the mail. Keep an eye out. Do not lose that postcard. Do not throw it away. Make sure to keep that handy. Now you go ahead and put your contact name here. 
That way your little Google postcard is going to come in the mail and they'll send it to you. Now they're going to have a special address and a special uh, a web address and a code that you'll insert or put on the web. That way they can make sure that you're a real place of business. So after I enter that and have them send it to me, it's going to add my business to Google. So let's click continue. Now this step is going to create that Google Plus page for you. So congratulations. I've got a Google Plus page. So let's go ahead and get started. They're really good in that they walk you through step by step what they need to do to open your business. So let's scroll around the screen a little bit. Now if you look up here it says I'm using my Google Plus as Scott's Mexican restaurant page. Okay, well, what that tells me is if I click on a link or type on someone's web page and say hello, it's going to show up as Scott's Mexican Restaurant. So let's take a little tour. So look good across Google. Make a better impression across Google by completing your profile. Never were truer words spoken. Now, if you want to make a public post, this is where you're going to take a this is where you're going to click to make a post. And you can see back here where, oops, back here you can see where you can post and say hello to the world. So let's go ahead and do that. Hello world. I'll go ahead and choose public. Now you can choose what they call circles which we'll get into later but always go ahead and post on public that way it shows up publicly if somebody's searching for you if you have a message uh, it also helps your organic search engine results for your SEO strategy you've probably discussed with us and all that sort of stuff so Let's go on. Now, it won't let me share it because I'm not verified yet, so let's go uh, to the next page. I've requested my PIN. That's the thing I'm getting in the mail. I need a brief description. And, of course, it's not cooperating with me. So I had a little bit of technical difficulty with the Internet. So how do I fix that? Well, with Google, it's really simple. Up here in the upper right-hand corner, you can see that icon with your picture. Now, that is my personal account. So that is Scott, Scott's Mexican Restaurant at gmail.com. If I want to look at my personal page, I go right there. Or I can go to my Mexican Restaurant page, which if when I click there, it'll take me to that plus page for my local restaurant. This is a way I can go ahead and start telling people about myself. Now, my about page. Right now, it's really simple, and it doesn't have much information. But what we can do is go ahead and change all that stuff, so that way people will be able to find us and understand who we are a little bit better. And those changes about getting the profile actually filled out as opposed to just set up is something we'll talk about in a future video. On to setting up our very first YouTube channel. Thanks, and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email here at Webtegrity. We'll be happy to help you.